All right, so here it is, my Asus X205TA. Uh, I picked this up from Best Buy for 150 bucks, and uh, you know, after a couple days of use, I'm gonna have to admit that it's money well spent. Um, now, essentially, I bought this uh, to be a computer. Uh, as you can see, I've got my my Sager, my big 17-inch Sager. That's gonna become my desktop. Um, and this is going to be my work on the couch or, you know, I'm in the truck with the kids waiting for my kids to come out from school and I need to, you know, uh, to log into work real quick or just, you know, do something, you know, just handy on the go kind of stuff. Um, and this thing is, is light enough and small enough that I can do that and do anything I'd want to do on the go, uh, for those circumstances. Um, so some basic things, um, it's got a quad, ca quad core, um, processor. It's an Atom processor. Um, it's actually kind of snappy. Um, I've done some web browsing, some other control panel settings, things like that, um, all at the same time. You know, nothing super, you know, heavy duty, but all that. And it, it's always snappy. It's, it's, the performance is good even with the stock install that I, that I have on it. Um, the battery life is amazing. And the one thing I'll say that is absolutely surprising with this notebook is, or Ultrabook or whatever you want to call it, um, is the encoding time. Now, granted, it wasn't a long, long video. It was about three and a half minutes. Um, and I shot it on my phone, so, you know, it was a 1080p video rendered in Windows uh, Movie Maker. So nothing too fancy, but it, it encoded it um, and, and did a very nice job of, of doing so in, like, no time at all. The quad-core um, processor in this is actually pretty pretty impressive, uh, especially for what, you, what, what the market is targeting. Um, so, you know, I can't say enough about it so far for what it is. Um, it's got two gigs of RAM. Ne haven't seen any uh, issues with that quite yet. Uh, I don't think I'm going to because it's going to be browsing, VNC, uh, you know, uh, terminal, things like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, got, it's, got, it's got the stats to do the thing, to do, that, to do those jobs. Um, but let's go, let's go through some ports here. You can see uh, two USB 2.0s um, on the side. And then you've got nothing on the back, just the hinge. And you can kind of see those little tabs there. Some people are complaining about them. They don't bother me. I don't even notice them, to be perfectly honest. Over here you have um, you have the uh, proprietary charging port, um, your micro SD card slot, uh, micro HDMI, and your um, headphone uh, microphone jack. Um, now I've used this quite a few times as Skype video. And I'll have to say that the built-in mic uh, works pretty good, so you don't have, absolutely have to get an external. Um, and then you got on the front here, you got some LEDs. Um, underneath, um, it's pretty pretty clear, you know, pretty clean. Um, nothing uh, too gaudy, pretty simple. But uh, yeah, let's open her up. So light that you have to it's hard to one hand open it to be perfectly honest um, but yeah there it is I mean the keyboard is almost full size trackpad is huge and I have to say the trackpad on this is every bit every bit of better than this Sager and I won't say it's as good as my wife's MacBook um, but for what it's for what I do for Windows 8 with no touchscreen, it comes dang close. Um, I won't say. I mean, some, a lot of people probably disagree with me on that. But the only thing I have issues with is like um, the gestures coming off. But I, I don't use those anyways because you know it's my first 8.1 machine. Um, so the trackpad's amazing. It, it's 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 really nice. Uh, not a MacBook, obviously. But uh, it's dang close, and for the price point, again, color me impressed. Um, the keyboard, while not being full size, is has a very nice layout on it. Um, I like it a lot. When as soon as I got on it, I typed on all the computers in this segment, and some of them were good. The HP was all right, uh, but this one just stood out as as uh, I, I don't know, perfect <laughs> for for at least the price point. I, I guess I shouldn't say perfect. Um, it was the best of the lot. It was the best of the lot. It, it's a really nice keyboard. Uh, it's no traditional ThinkPad keyboard, for sure. But I actually had a, um, a T100, the original T100 with a dock, and this keyboard's very close. So I guess that may be what, what's, uh, what's so nice about it. Um, 
the screen uh, screen's a low resolution and it is the uh, the glare type so you're gonna see a, a reflection it's not too bad honestly um, it's really not too bad you can kind of see you know you see my, the image of me there uh, filming you know it's not too bad but um, it is reflective I don't really use this outside too much maybe in my truck but it's not a big deal there so yeah, there's a little bit of reflection on the screen. Um, the resolution isn't all that great, but uh, you know, it, it gets the job done. For what this computer is used for, it gets the job done. Uh, you can see the mic and the um, the mic and the uh, webcam there. And uh, it, to be honest, it's not the best quality. It's not uh, even close. But it, it gets again, it gets the job done for for general Skype calls. It, it works. Um, I've used this just standalone, just the built-in mic and everything and and people were able to hear me well um, see me good you know see a, a, a clear image so um, let's see here I'll get to those tabs there but yeah it's it's a, it's a good uh, it's a it's a decent quality and especially for the price point hundred fifty dollars you can't go wrong with with it, pretty much anything that is now the build build quality is what you'd expect from a hundred fifty dollar computer um, it's plastic but it's not too it's you got some a little bit of bow here you know obviously but it feels pretty solid and when you start factoring in again the price you know I always focus on that because that's you know um, that's a very important factor for who's going to be you know the mar who's in the market for a computer like this um, but it, it just feels solid it feels solid it feels um, it just feels like a solid computer that you could you know actually use and not be afraid it's going to just break on you and such but it's got it's also you know the styling while I don't, I'm not a huge fan of blue the styling is very um, I don't know it kind of resembles a MacBook Pro I guess a little bit as far as the, the edges go it's somewhat resembling a plain anodized look um, but yeah using it is is pretty fun I mean it's you know you know it's obviously not as comfortable to use as my Sager um, but for what I use it for, it's very comfortable. It doesn't get hot, uh, even with, uh, moderate use. Um, the only problem I could say is that maybe the touchpad, you have to be careful when you're doing long typing. Um, but, I mean, the only thing I could say is that with the touchpad, um, sometimes it gets in the way when you're, when you're typing, so you kind of have to kind of have to adjust a little bit. For me, I'm so used to having an external mouse, where it shuts off automatically the touchpad, and then uh, you know, so it is, so it is what it is. But like I said, it's really no complaints because I'm not going to be typing anything, but you know, maybe a semi-long email or something. But I don't see a problem. I really don't. All right. So uh, as far as uh, battery life is concerned, um, so far this thing has been. As with everything else, impressive. Uh, I, can't, I guess I've been saying a lot of praise. Um, I'll get to some of the negatives here in a second, but uh, yeah, it's um, the battery life has been good. I haven't fully drained it because it just lasts so dang long um, that by the time I get anywhere close to low, um, I just plug it in. But the 12 hours, once I get this thing tweaked and everything, I don't think that's going to be very hard to uh, to obtain with this this uh, netbook. Now, as far as the negatives go, um, I mean, for the price, I can't find any. Um, I guess you could, one second. I guess you could say the, the bezel here is, um, the bezel here is a little cheap, uh, maybe. I mean, it's it's what you expect in a notebook to side, but I mean, it's there's no real flex. The quality's pretty decent, uh, especially with what you're doing. Um, I said the only gripe I have is sometimes I hit the touchpad when I'm, you know, uh, when I'm typing, it's it's rare. I can still do long emails and stuff, but I'm not going to be you know typing a lot. Um, I'm sure that when I'm coding, it's going to be um, I'll probably have the touchpad turned off because um, I'll probably be using the air keys anyways. Um, I wish it was a touchscreen for Windows 8. Um, I wish that it was a touchscreen for Windows 8.1. Excuse me, um, but it's not. And you know what? Honestly, after Messing around with Windows 10, um, I think touchscreen is 
probably, I don't know if, I don't know if it will die out, but I think that it's not going to be as popular with Windows 10 and on, because uh, Windows 10 is more of a traditional operating system, in my opinion. Um, but uh, it would have been nice to have touch and a detachable this and that, but for the price point, you're never going to get that. Um, I, in order to get an Asus uh, touchscreen, um, it was like uh, 280 I think, at Best Buy. And um, there were some Toshibas there were 230 but I have not had the best luck with Toshibas uh, back in the mid, mid uh, early to mid-2000s. Um, had some heat issues, had some other issues, um, and just wasn't overly impressed with, uh, with the machines. Um, and their build quality and just about everything about them. So uh, maybe I got a little bit of biased uh, bias towards uh, Toshiba, but I didn't want to spend you know an extra you know 80 bucks for a touchscreen model when it's not going to work for you know Windows 10 as well as it does for Windows 8. Windows 8, in my opinion, and 8.1 are designed around touchscreen and tablet interfaces, uh, tablet type like uh, environments and interfaces. Um, but this is going to be Windows 10 as soon as I get my update, and then it's going to be a moot point, and then that awesome mouse or uh, touchpad that's built in is going to be all that I'm ever going to need. So really, gripes, there really aren't any. I mean, especially for the price. I mean, you cannot find a single thing wrong, and if you have something wrong with it, you have to realize that this is literally bottom of the barrel and still a very competent, full-on PC. Um, so you really can't complain. I mean, you really can't complain for the price point. So yeah, this is uh, this is my latest addition to my um, technology, and uh, so far it's uh, it's been you know extremely impressive. Uh, I, I I usually when I do things like this, which is kind of like an impulse, uh, you know, something happened to what I what was filling this role before, uh, and forced me to have to use it somewhere else. Um, kind of like an impulse. So usually I feel kind of you know. Um, weary of, of of things like this, but this one um, that didn't last. As soon as I as soon as I opened that box, as soon as I opened that box and held it, I knew I knew that I had made the right purchase. And just every time I use it, um, every time I use it, uh, it just it just further cements that. I mean, for the for the price, I mean, I'll never you'll never get a deal like that. But anyways, um, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.